Diane sitting on Jackie's lap, got his hands between his knees. Jackie say, hey, Diane, let's run off behind the shady trees. Dribble off those Bobby Brooks, let me do what I please. Good morning, Woodgate. I'm Nora. And I'm Ashlyn. And this is News 52 This Morning. To start off this amazing day, please stand for our pledges and moment of silence. Hey Woodgate, uh, excuse me. Good morning Woodgate, hope you're off to a great start today. Hey, who does that sound like? Hmm, I wonder. Anyway, hey, I got a couple of announcements to make for you real quick. Uh, first one is for sixth grade teachers and sixth grade students. On Friday of last week, um, we talked about how the band and orchestra students need to wait until the 315 bell to go get their instruments. And what happened was is at 3.15, we had the band students all rush out of their room and get their instruments, and we had all of the bus riders rush out of the room and get their instruments. Wait, no, they didn't get their instruments. They just went onto the bus. Anyways, hey, that's not how it's going to work today. So let's listen real carefully. Let's try and get this as orderly as possible, okay? Um, at 3.15, there will be a bell for all the band and orchestra students to go get their instruments, okay? Then at 317, Mr. Smith is adding another bell today, beginning today. At 317, that is when the bus riders then get dismissed out in the hallway, um, out in the hallway to uh, go get in line ready to load the bus. Then at 320, of course, everybody else gets dismissed in that bar, uh, from the whole school. So 315, band orchestra students go get instruments. 317, bus riders. 320, everyone else. Capiche? Awesome. Next thing, on Friday, I received a letter from a couple of fifth grade students. By fifth grade students, I mean probably about 25 or 30 of them. And they wrote me a letter because they care about the news here at News 52. So I wanted to take a second and let you know, um, hey guys, I really appreciate your comments and your suggestions. It is great whenever you use your voice and your writing skills to uh, make change that you'd like to see happen. Uh, to explain a couple things, first of all, their letter had to do with sports and why is it that most of the sports that we talk about are men's sports versus women's sports. Um, and that is a very valid point. And to that, I, I have to say that honestly, uh, this really sad reality is, is the stuff that I put on the news is the stuff that I research and I need to research it in within 15 minutes or less. And so that's really a small amount of time for me to do all my research. I'd love to be able to pull every women's, uh, women's score from everything, but the fact is we just don't have time for that here. Most of our news broadcasts are between three and seven minutes long. And if we really get into all the different sports that are going on, we would be here for 20 minutes. And I know your teachers don't wanna waste 20 minutes of instructional time. That being said, however, as soon as basketball season's done, we're gonna jump into baseball and softball season. And that's just how it always happens here at News 52. So hang tight, we will have lots of um, diversity and lots of other scores and things to report here coming up very soon. But I appreciate 
you taking the time out of your day um, to, to write and make change. And that's what the, this world needs is, is students to step up and, and use their voice and use it in a very good educational way. So thank you for that. All right, last thing for me, and then you'll then I'll get off the stage. Um, today we are beginning to hand out um, audition forms uh, for the Woodgate Club 9400 show, the talent show. Sixth graders, if you're interested, these pieces of paper, I know you can't see because it's wide, wide out from here, um, uh, but they will be at lunch. Here's a couple of things you need to know. Auditions are Wednesday and Thursday, the 13th and 14th. That's a little over two weeks away after school. Um, the rehearsal dates are on here. The performances is May 3rd. So a little over a month away from a performance date. Uh, this back page right here is an audition form. It's gotta be signed by you and has to be signed by a parent. Anyone who is wanting to audition in your group needs to have one of these. So example, if you have a group of five students that are wanting to do an act with five kids in there, I need to have all five of you fill out one of these forms, okay? Uh, these will be at lunch starting today. If you have questions, please feel free to stop by the choir room. I'd love to answer your questions as well as choir students. They will likely know the answer as well. Okay, I've talked for a really long time. I apologize. Uh, have a great day, Woodgate. Now for your weather. Now for weather. Currently, it's 42 degrees with clear skies. Today, the high will be 74 degrees with lots of sun. This week, look for rain Wednesday, but sun the rest of the week. Now for your sports with Nora. Thank you, Ashlyn. The men's final four is set. Two seeds, Villanova and Oklahoma play first, followed by 10 seed Syracuse versus one seed North Carolina. Winners will play in the national championship. On the women's side, half of the bracket is complete. Seven seed Washington will play four seed Syracuse. The other half of the bracket plays today with Texas versus UConn, and Baylor plays Oregon State. That's all for sports. Now for today in history. Today, in 1979, America's worst commercial nuclear accident occurred with a partial meltdown inside the unit's reactor at Three Mile Island plant near Middletown, Pennsylvania. Lego Club and Engineering Club meet tomorrow after school. Boys to Men and Chess Club meet Thursday after school. Now for a special announcement from the Recycling Club. We are the Woodgate Intermediate Recycling Club. I'm Abby. I'm Noah. I'm Lorelai. I'm John Michael. I'm Grace. And I'm Paige. Woodgate, be on the lookout for recycling bins in the cafeteria and don't forget to throw your recyclable materials in those. Be on the lookout for on Thursdays and Fridays for us as we will come around and pick up from the classroom recycle bins. Only 47 more days until summer. Have a wonderful day, Woodgate. Diane says, baby, you ain't missing nothing. Jack say, oh yeah.